G'day guys, Matt from vapeviews.com here. Back again helping to keep you up to date with the latest and greatest in herb vaping news and technology. Now, we recently copped a bunch of portable vaporizers from Boundless Technology over in the States and I've had a blast trying them out these past few weeks. Now, we copped the Terra, the Boundless CFV, which is the entry level Sidewinder, and the CFX. Now, the CFX and CFV have been in the market for a little while now and have picked up a bit of market traction. But their latest device, the Boundless Terra, is really making some waves in the portable vape market. Now this device is super customizable, so it comes with three attachable mouthpieces, including this traditional food grade plastic sidewinder style mouthpiece, this glass mouthpiece with silicone grommet on the bottom for keeping the airlock nice and tight. It's got a universal 14 mm and 18 mm water pipe adapter, so it's compatible with either your 18 mm bowl or your 14 mm downstem, depending on which one you've got. And it's even got this big liquid pad as well for all of your concentrates. So the Boundless Terra is actually one of the first devices I've seen besides like the Dr. Dabba switch to come with the dual concentrate and herb mode. So aside from just having that dual concentrate and herb capabilities with the inclusion of a liquid cup or pad or something like that, they've actually included an extra temperature mode strictly for using concentrates. So that temperature mode sits at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly 250, 260 Celsius. And to get to it, you pretty much just turn the display on like this. So in the traditional way, five clicks, it'll give you a nice big vibrate and it shows you just the current temperature setting. So you can display the temps in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. And if you wanted to click into concentrate mode, you just press this home button three times. So as you'll see by clicking that, that little honeycomb sign will appear on the display. And then from then on, after you've held the button down, it'll click up to its one set temp of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So atomizing concentrates in a portable vape like this, obviously it's not going to be as effective as like a dab rig or a traditional concentrate vaporizer, but if you're after a portable vape that's going to do it all, so dry herbs and concentrates, the Boundless Terra's extra concentrate mode does make it a lot more of a viable choice than other devices that are strictly optimized for herb use. Now this device has an awesome flavor output. Its chamber has a capacity to hold up to 0.35, 0.4 grams of dried herb. So a little bit tinier than the stores in Bickle, Crafty and Mighty, but bigger than say an Ariza portable vape. So the chamber, stainless steel baking chamber, utilizes a full convection heating method, which you can actually see on the box. They sort of outline the, the uh, interior of the device, everything with the air input down the bottom, all the way up to how it's cooled and filtered through the herbs here and then cool again as it leaves the top at the bottom. So convection heating, obviously as we discussed in our Vaping 101 video tutorials, involves air heating. So it's not like a heating element, so the chamber doesn't come into contact with the herbs directly, merely the air that's brought through is heated and that in turn atomizes the herbs and so puts off the, uh, the THC, CBD, any of the oils that we're trying to vaporize. So I'm gonna give this one a go now. I've uh, yet to use it on concentrate mode. I've only had a crap with it on herb mode. I usually start the session at about 180 degrees Celsius. So it's just five clicks to turn that one on. And then you're going to wanna to hit it back into herb mode. So three clicks again off concentrate mode. You can set that in Celsius or uh, Fahrenheit. If I've got this in 180, and I'll just hold down that button to kickstart the heating. So, as I said, you can use this in a number of ways. The food grade plastic mouthpiece is the easiest to clean, and it's also probably got a little bit more of a restricted airflow than the others. So if you're looking for the larger sort of hits of vapor, the, uh, the food grade plastic mouthpiece is gonna be your go-to. If you're a bit more sort of uh, sensitive with taste and stuff like that, and prefer that connoisseur grade flavor, I'd probably use the glass mouthpiece. So that's giving you a bit more of an airflow, so you can pull a bit more vapor through, but it's gonna be obviously not as dense a cloud as you'd be able to pull through this food grade plastic mouthpiece. The best of them all though, in my opinion, is the water pipe adapter. Now, there's a bunch of vapes these days that come equipped with water pipe adapters, but I'm yet to find one that works as effectively as the Boundless Terra. So I'm gonna clip this in right now. It's full convection, obviously. This is not too much heat actually radiating from the chamber itself. So I'm just gonna chuck this aluminum alloy water pipe adapter into the end of the device, which you see I've packed tightly with herbs up to the top. So you just pop that on the top like that. And as I said, it's got sort of a dual contoured wall on the side. So whether you want to chuck it into a 9mm, a 14mm or an 18mm, you're going to be able to get your airflow going through that. So I'll put the 18mm adapter in just for a bit more of stability. And you just hold onto it while you're inserting it into the water pipe because it is a quite a weighty device with the two removable batteries. It's got the airflow inlay just on the end here. So you want to make sure that you're not covering your finger with that while you're pulling. So 
So after the first hits, obviously there's not going to be that much vapor that's emitted, but after you've pulled sort of a full uh, couple of hits through, you can start to build up a lot more of a cloud like this. There's not too much visible vapor off those first few hits. But if we're going to chuck the mouthpiece in now, you can see how much this thing actually rips. So I'll go with the glass mouthpiece for a bit of airflow. And these mouthpieces are designed with fantastic bit. There's a tiny magnetic component on the inside that helps that click in. And each one's just got that silicone grommet, so it's not, uh, not going to be overheated or warped or anything like that. Pretty simple to clean too. So this definitely changes the flavor of the vapor as well, sort of each individual mouthpiece that you chuck on. As I said, I find that this one is definitely the most flavorsome in terms of the three. The water pipe adapter helps you to bring forth sort of the biggest clouds and it helps to cool down the vapor a lot more, obviously, as the mouthpiece is pretty close to the device. So it's relatively warm compared to say, an Arisa Solo or Air or something like that. And with the food grade plastic mouthpiece, you're sacrificing a little bit of flavor for that bit more of a cooled down experience as well. So really there's something for everyone with the boundless test. If you're a portable vaping enthusiast that's looking for a device that's going to be awesome for dry herbs, concentrate, both at home and on the go use, the Boundless Terra is really the device for you. So keep an eye out for the Terra and the Vape Fuse online store and remember to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in herb vaping news and tech. Thanks guys.